this might look as though it's a very ordinary car, one that you'd see in everyday traffic, but actually it's a very different sort of car. And I'm just finding out a little bit about it. Well, Roy Doring, uh, you've designed and built the electric engine that powers this car. How is it actually more advantageous than a piston engine car? Well, it's more economical to run. It's noiseless, smog-free, and you look at the motor about every 15 years. That's all the maintenance you have in the, as far as the engine is concerned. Now, this is not a new idea. They've had electric cars for a long time. Why aren't there more of them about? Well, about 50 years ago, these cars uh, were much better than any petrol car at the time. And uh, then as they progressed to the development of the petrol car, these became dormant for about 50 years. Nothing's been done. Although I've been driving them for about 30 years myself, and I'm a firm believer of their use. And they're smog free, and they'll have to use them in congested cities. Um, now, they're much cheaper than an ordinary car to run. Um, just what are the costs? Well, to give you an example. To run this car on petrol for four shillings, you'd only do about 30 miles or 35 miles. I do for about 140 miles for four shillings. How do you charge it up? You just plug it into the wall. There's a charger built into the back of the car. Just plug it into the wall like an ordinary iron plug and then it cuts itself off when the batteries are charged. 